So what have I accomplished in the last hour? I have removed the oil filter adapter because there's a transfer case. There's no room for the oil filter to hang down vertically so they've got an adapter that installs just like that. And I had a friend years ago that bought a 4.3 Chevy Astro van cheap because the seal here had blown out and the engine was knocking but uh, the guy turned it off soon enough we put some bearings in it or he did and he drove it for years bought it for 200 bucks pretty good shape too 4.3 and this uses the same if not identical system o-ring there so i bought a new one thinking this might be the problem and this comes in a bulk pack from gm so no part number and here's the part numbers for the seal that goes into the housing which is right there just below the surface of the bolt there's a black seal I don't focus too well up close and there's a washer o-ring on the bolt itself right there and there's that so I'll post a still picture of the part number and I've been filling up my oil filter like I always do and just for curiosity's sake I took the seal off the K&N filter, which is not very old, just to see if it would fit here. It probably would, but it's far deeper. When you think that an oil filter is two bucks or three or four or five, the K&Ns are ten dollars. But why pay? These three seals were twelve dollars. This was five bucks for this seal, and this was four, and this was three or something. But why pay five bucks for a seal when you can get the whole oil filter with the seal? A little bigger across than the original but I bet if I could jam that thing in there it would probably work maybe the AC Delco one looks a little skinnier like it would fit in what does this one look like that's big and fat it's as big as the one from the K&N if not bigger So if I was brave enough to pull this out, which I probably could, it would probably fit in there so I could buy a $5 filter, take off the old gasket and save five bucks. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna now take off the oil dipstick. I'm listening to POTUS and I finally figured out what POTUS stands for. Politics of the US or whatever. Something similar, president of the US. Where is fluid film. There's a dipstick. Just to the right of the oil cooler lines. So I have to unbolt something, I'm sure. Remove the dipstick, and I went to GM to buy the seal, and they don't have it. Seven bucks, no stock. Nobody stocks the dip dip dipstick tube seal. So somewhere there's a bolt that holds that dipstick on. Somewhere. And I'll pull the dipstick out and see if I have the O-ring. I'm sure I do crazy that it leaks a hell of a lot only when it's idling not when you're driving down the road and I've got that shift indicator light for a wire but I'm not brave enough to tackle that look on the internet and see where that connector is I'm not good at wiring I'm not gonna chop stuff up what's the socket size for that oil filter adapter one and three eighths socket takes off the oil filter adapter bolt so I'll change the O-rings, and then I'll hop up here and see where the bolt is for the dipstick. Intercooler, stupid. Alrighty, I got my work to do. And the phone is quiet, junk Samsung. <laughs> Shit. Alright, what time is it? 25 after 9. There's my little 7mm in my hand ratchet and this is the little bolt that holds the dipstick tube in place. Think it's small enough? I thought it'd have some monster attaching it to the block but no some rinky doom little bolt. Same as the ones that hold the fuel injector lines in place. But I will remove my sludge covered dipstick. I don't know why I have so much sludge in this motor doesn't run hot but it runs 180 or so which is 80 degrees Celsius or 90 Celsius 
sludged up. That's why I'm changing the oil after only a few thousand miles. Yuck. Muck. So, there's the dipstick. And the tube is right behind it. I don't have the O-ring that GM specifies, but anything's got to be better than what's on there now. There it is. And the O-ring stayed inside the oil pan. Yep. So I gotta pick it out now. Not rusted. Usually dipstick tubes leak when they rust away. I've seen them rust right off. I had an S10 years ago before YouTube that I bought cheap, had high miles, and the dipstick was rusted into the engine. The dipstick wouldn't come out of the tube. I had to cut the tube at the top to pull it out. Yep, I just shortened everything by a few inches. It was one of those, it was a four cylinder that's tube stuck out all the way to here, so I just cut it back to there. All right, I'm going to crawl underneath and get that seal out, and then I'll go through my little collection. I should have gone through the car wash. Now I gotta walk beside it. Oh, full of salt. No, I'm not gonna do it. Got O ring right there. Whole collection. There, I snuck in. 270 piece made in China crappy collection. Oh, that mirror. Oh. Oh. So, there is. No, or there was no o-ring on the dipstick tube and I dug into the receptacle in the oil pan with this little tool just like that and there's no o-ring inside so I don't know did it not get installed when the truck was new or did someone tinker with it and anyways I went into my little collection here of made in China o-rings this sir HNBR HNBR o-ring assortment and it's a heavier wall, this green one that fits, and this black one here. I've got a black one with a thinner wall. I don't think this green one's going to fit inside the receptacle in the block, so I think I'll just put this black one on. I suppose I could use some RTV room temperature vulcanizing silicone. Maybe I'll try put this O-ring on. Smaller. Yep, yeah, little problems. And then I'm going to change the clutch fan. And then I got a power seat from a friend of mine who just scrapped this Suburban. I never saw it. It was a 97. It was rotted. It was beat up. And somewhere I have the clutch fan in my big junkyard here. There's my gas pedal that doesn't work from the 97 dump truck. I do have a gas pedal from the white 94 Suburban. I'll put that on fly-by-wire. So I'll try these o-rings and I'll see if I can slip that in, change the clutch fan, change the accelerator pedal and install the new actuator and put the oil filter adapter back on. And it's 9.45, clock on the wall. I'm not getting much heat from this baby today. Give me lukewarm air. Not hot. I don't know why. Cold. So I got my jacket back on and my scarf and my sweater. And I'm working. Trying to get her done. Go Gingrich, go Romney, go Obama, and, and go Santorum. Go at them like rock'em sock'em robots. All right. Got something to read tonight. I'm going to get the Suburban. Friday night, I'm going to see Pisser. Mrs. CW is going to give him a hard time over the hours. He's over 100 hours. It's only two and a half times what we agreed to. He did a beautiful job. I got a fight with Mrs. CW. I'm looking forward to it. Let me tell you. A real 2500. All right, I'm going to slide underneath. I'm going to try and hold the camera. And I was reading the comments on Pisser's channel. My buddy Big Paw 64 in New Jersey wants to bring his blazer. It's a 91 loaded that he bought brand new. He wants to bring it to Pisser. And Huck, this 1971, wants to bring his Dodge Ram junk. 
Where is that dipstick tube? There. Getting all full of fluid film. Two O rings. Come on. Well, it's in a fraction. Let me see if I can get a BFH on it up top and hammer it home. Don't you love YouTube? You get to see all kinds of stuff you've never seen in a million years. Thanks to YouTube. YouTube. Here it is. I drove her home. Two O ring jumbo size. Now I'll bolt it back on with that little rinky dink bolt. Clean off the sludge on my dipstick. Change the fan clutch. Brand new AC Delco. Doesn't disengage. I don't know why that is. I was just reading on one of the forums. Somebody sent me a link, Gibberish 9, on how to put the newer style glow plug controller. What a mess of wires on my blazer. Newer style. I got the one that goes in the block into the antifreeze. Doesn't work. He recommended I put the newer style. I don't want to put a push button on. I'm just <laughs> making you guys crazy. All right. Put the bolt in and keep on working. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Gonna go see Pisser on Friday night or Saturday morning. Price of diesel is it was 409, 429. Now it's 459. Gas went up again, 403 a gallon. Sounds like a buck a liter. All right, get back to work.